the guys afterwards. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. You know, everyone, everyone's got the, the music pump and everyone's just going crazy. And, you know, like I said earlier, you know, you don't, you don't want that to end because it's just, it's such a cool feeling with all those guys that you put in so much work with. It's better than last year's against Oklahoma State. Yes, absolutely. I, I, don't, I don't think there's a doubt about that. Yeah. Coach talked about Jason standing up and talking to you guys a little bit post game. Just what was his message to you guys? He just thanked us, you know, because he he wasn't sure if he wanted to come back at the end of last year and, you know, to, to come back and to really, you know, be a leader and, you know, with a lot of uncertainty with Jalen to step in, you know, play the way he has, especially and to help go win us this game. Uh, it, you know, it meant a lot to him and, you know, it means a lot to us. You're obviously a guy that's using your extra COVID year. How pleased are you with that decision? Oh my gosh, it, it was a no-brainer, you know, just seeing the, the trajectory of this team. You know, I, I wouldn't have wanted to miss it for anything. So to, to really see that paying off, you know, I, I, it's a, it was, it was a no-brainer for me. You've obviously been around for a long time too, right? Mm -hmm. Seeing the up and down and all that. Speak to the, the trajectory and the way things have gone for you guys. We're now it's consecutive years of bowl eligibility. I went over a top 10 team. Just, how have you seen kind of the program grow? Yeah, you know, there, there were a lot of, you know, dark days. There was a lot of, you know, uncertainty and, you know, to, to see how how much we've, you know, grown, how much we've exceeded expectations every single year. I mean, even at the beginning of this year with the traject trajectory we had after last year, people were still doubting us. And so, you know, we, we never stopped believing in ourselves. And, you know, even when we're down two minutes left, no timeouts, we, we never stopped believing. How resilient is Jason? Might as well be his middle name, you know. J Jason, you know, he's he's such a great leader. He's, you know, I, I know that he, you know, he's his, you know, worst critic, and so, he, you know, he he gets a little upset afterward after you know making mistakes. But you know, once he gets his head back on, he's you know an elite leader and you know the guy you want. I'm sure this is not the first thing on your mind right now, but how much does the confidence from this friend help you guys going forward, especially because last year you kind of skipped it this time of year. Yeah, you know, Leipold, Coach Leipold, you know, always does a good job of, you know, kind of grounding the situation. You know, we, we can't be too high, can't be too low, you know, no matter what. And, you know, we obviously got to own the film because there was a lot of mistakes we made today. You know, we, this wasn't the cleanest one. I'll, I'll just say that simply. And I think that was, I think that was pretty well uh, apparent out there. So, you know, getting ready for next week, we got to get back and own what's on the film. I think there's a photo of Coach Leipold celebrating the Oklahoma State game last year in the hallway here. What was he like? You know, I think I think we got in before Coach Leipold was able to really get in the thick of it. So, you know, everyone was, was bunched up, dancing, and singing, and all that stuff. So, but people were like, Coach Leipold, you got to dance, you got to dance. And, you know, he, he didn't do it, but he was, you know, he obviously, he obviously told us how, you know, how proud of us he was. When you beat the top 10 team, how 